Welcome back to Why We Buy It, and today I got something a little different for you, something a little special, especially for my watch enthusiasts. Now, those of you that follow the channel, you're going to know that I maintain a six watch collection, so I'm very particular about which watches I purchase to add to the watch box. But I don't just buy watches to add to the watch box. This is a, a bit of a secret that you now know, right? The cat's out of the bag. I go through a lot of watches in a year, and quite a few of those are watches I don't intend to keep. I just find them for a great deal. I'll purchase them. I'll wear them for a while and either flip them on a secondary market or end up giving them away to somebody that I think could maybe take an interest in the hobby, already has an interest in the hobby, and this is a watch that's just perfect for them. And I generally do this, of course, with inexpensive watches. So there are a number of watches you're going to see mentioned or reviewed on this channel that aren't very expensive. And in this particular case, you had the AliExpress 1111 sale coming up, but I don't buy watches off of AliExpress. I never have, right? I'll buy watch straps off AliExpress, especially when their sales are on, because you can find some fantastic deals. And it's, it's so incredibly inexpensive that even if I don't like the watch strap, I'm not losing much on it if it just ends up in my strap collection and never gets attached to a watch because it's that cheap, right? So that's something I would suggest watch fans maybe take a look at when the AliExpress sales come up, even if you're interested in just more expensive watches or watches that aren't available on AliExpress, you can find some fantastic deals on straps that can just be the perfect addition to whatever watches you currently have. But around that time, you've also got the Black Friday sales coming up. Okay, it's kind of well positioned. And this particular year, Cadola put a number of their watch models on sale, one of which is designed in such a way that's appealing to me because on top of being a watch enthusiast, I love classic cars. I love classic automobiles. And the dial on this watch is very reminiscent of an RPM gauge on a classic car. And if you had watched a previous video of mine where I talk about my sort of three unusual grail watches, the three watches that would kind of complete my six watch collection, you already know that one of my favorite watches, period, is by a company called Reservoir Watch. And they produce watches that, again, look like gauges in whether it be a car or an airplane or a boat or what have you. And those watches are impeccably well made with very high complications, right? Not inexpensive at all, but this particular watch is practically the inexpensive version, the budget version of the watch that I really love from West Reservoir. And that's a watch by Cadola. Today I'm dressed to kind of match the occasion, right? This is honestly an inexpensive watch. This watch, right, I got this off of Long Island Watch. Unfortunately for me, I could have actually gotten it cheaper off of the Cadola website directly, but they didn't start their Black Friday sales until after Long Island Watch started there. So I purchased with Long Island Watch and found it like three days later. Oh, I could have got it cheaper directly from the Cadola site, but c'est la vie, the difference in price wasn't significant. So I decided it doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead and let it come to me. But this watch is so appealing in so many ways and so different too. I mean, for an inexpensive watch, there are people buying watches for far more money on AliExpress during the 1111 sale. And they're buying it from a brand or a seller that you have very little recourse with if something goes wrong. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I don't buy AliExpress watches. I've seen a lot of bad situations among some of the watch groups about people who got burned with an unlucky watch from AliExpress. Now, I'm certain if I got this watch from Long Island Watch and something was wrong with it, I don't think Mark would have had any issue whatsoever taking it back and sending me a new one. I don't think there'd be any issues getting a hold of him. I don't think we'd have any problems doing the exchange direct, like I don't think there'd be a single issue. It's one of the reasons why the only sort of AliExpress style watch I own 
is a Seagull 1963 by Sujus, but I bought that off Amazon. I paid a little bit more for it through Amazon, but I knew if anything went wrong, I'd have no issue returning it through Amazon. So that's why I did it. And for those of you that get caught up in the hype, the AliExpress sale hype that happens a couple of times a year, before you make a decision to add an inexpensive timepiece to your collection, see what everybody else is doing because a lot of these micro brands don't want to get overlooked or passed over because of an AliExpress sale. And they're offering some very quality timepieces at a significant discount if you look for it. And that's where I found this. So let's get into it. Let's check out my Cadola. 1946, the RPM gauge style dial. Let's go with it. This particular watch sells for $338 American, normally. Now they list that as a sale price, but let's be honest, it's like a lot of these different micro brands where they'll list the full MSRP and then the price they actually sell it at. It never sells for the full MSRP. So you'll see it like 60% off at $338, but $338 is really the price for it. But during a Black Friday sale or a Christmas sale or an end of season sale, you can usually get a percentage off, which is the case here, right? I got it for a pretty good deal as a result of that. So, so let's begin with the specifications because when you're looking at budget watches, obviously you've got to make some concessions somewhere. And quite often, and this is the argument I see made for a number of AliExpress brands, is that you get a lot of bang for your buck as far as specs goes. And that's entirely true. Obviously there's gonna be some concessions, but in this case, the concessions were sort of suitable, right? They're fitting. Now, first of all, what you really have to appreciate is that under the hood, you've got a Seiko NH35. So you have a true workhorse movement that has hacking and hand winding. You can't ask for much more. I would definitely take that movement over your typical Chinese movement. So that's a bonus and that's a good portion of the value right there. Now, unlike a number of AliExpress watches, you do not have a sapphire crystal you have a traditional mineral crystal but in some cases that can be a bonus too because if it does scratch a little bit of poly watch and you're back to looking brand new it also adds to the aesthetic of the watch because you're going with that sort of vintage you know car dial right and looking at this from different angles you get some incredible distortions on the outer minute track it just suits the look of the watch Right? This being an H35, it does have a date complication. The date's at the 6, so it adds to the, again, look of that RPM gauge style design they've gone with. They put a great deal of thought into this when you look at the overall design of it. I mean, the, the hands were a good, good choice. They are reminiscent of gauge hands, right? I like the fact that they went with the three date dial as opposed to a one date dial because it, again, adds to the overall symmetry and look of that dial, that gauge style dial. It's just, they did a fair amount of work when it comes to making this look right. And I can appreciate that, especially at the price point. Now, something that will maybe turn people off at initial look online, but then when you think about it, it really shouldn't, is that this is a 44 millimeter case, and I believe it's about a 14 millimeter height to the top of the glass, which makes it sound like a chunky monkey, but it's really not because it has a lugless design, right? So it's a 44 millimeter case with a 44 millimeter lug to lug. And on wrist, it fits me very similar to how a 40 millimeter case would fit me, right? This does not look that big on my wrist at all. And I actually like the height of it because it gives it a little bit of additional presence and this really is a kind of a conversation piece right it's a conversation starter people look at it and it's not a dial they're familiar with when it comes to watches especially if you're into vintage cars and things like that because it'll immediately grab you because you'll be recognizing that appearance so I love the size they've gone with here it's a fantastic fit actually it feels amazing on wrist. Now, the strap they paired it with is a, in this case, a brown leather racer style strap, and it has a pr proprietary connection point 
at the lugless design, so it's not something you can replace easily, but it's been a very comfortable fit for me. And it 100% suits the watch, obviously. So it's not a strap that you're gonna really want to replace in most cases. Honestly, I have no complaints about this particular watch. Now, you're not looking at a lot of water resistance here, right? It's just got a push, push pull crown, you know, with two stopping points, one to change the date, one to change the time. It hacks, like I mentioned, all right? It's the Seiko NH35, 30, so no issues there. And it's got a decent amount of loom. It's not fantastic or anything, but it's got just enough loom to put a smile on your face when it starts to get a bit dark because, again, it just highlights that RPM style guile, dial. Like, it's, it's a cool watch. It's a really cool watch. And it's a watch that I know once I've gifted it to the next person or whoever buys it from me, depending on what I decide to do with it, I'll probably end up giving it away. They're going to appreciate it as well, right? because it's unusual, it's unique. And it's that's something that you don't find all that often on AliExpress. And that's why I stress, you know, do, do your research, check out some of the micro brands, go on some of the chat groups and see what other people are interested in. I'm part of a Facebook group called Affordable Mechanical Watches. It's a great place to find unusual pieces that are within pretty much everyone's budget. Right? And it's where I came across Cadola to begin with. And I'm glad I did because this is such a fun watch to wear for the short period of time I decide to keep it. If I was one of those guys that kept a huge collection, 100% this would be in it. Right? I think if I even had a 12 watch collection, this might actually make the cut because of how unique it is. Or at least until I get my Reservoir Watch Grail watch. Let me know if you've got any truly interesting watches in your collection. Something that's really different and stands out. If you want to, you know, send me some pictures. You can check out the description. It's got our email. Email us directly with maybe your collection and we'll maybe highlight it on our channel and talk a little bit about some of the interesting watches you own. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe because we're trying to grow the channel. We want you to grow with us and Christmas is just around the corner. We're hoping to maybe do a couple of giveaways to our loyal subscribers. Till next time.